Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions from May June 2023, paper 1. In today's lesson, our main focus will be on section 1. We will try to cover all questions from section 1. As always we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your conceptual understanding of unit 1 and also you can have better understanding of these questions. Let's study together. Let's improve together. In today's lesson, we are talking about paper 1 and total time for this exam is 1 hour and 30 minutes and total mark for this paper is 80. Question 1 says which of the following is a vector quantity? A vector quantity should have magnitude and also direction. So this is the concept you need to understand. Should have magnitude and direction magnitude and direction if you look at first one efficiency efficiency is not a vector quantity it has no direction kinetic energy is a scalar quantity it also has no direction power also is energy per unit time mean rate of energy transfer or we can say rate of doing work and this quantity also has no direction so power is also scalar weight is a vector quantity weight has direction mean in the force of gravity it has direction so the answer for this question is d so d is the right answer question 2 says the wind exerts a force of 225 newtons on a wind surfer the wind surfer moves a distance of 450 meters at an angle of 40 degrees to the wind as shown in the figure which of the following expressions gives the work done in joules on the wind surfer so first of all we need to understand how do we calculate work done work done simply is equal to the product of force and displacement in direction of force so very important one most of the time students they simply remember work is equal to force time distance but that is wrong in direction of force very important one so you need to understand in direction of force and this is what question is testing to figure out do you really understand what is work done so we have to take component of the force in direction of displacement so first of all we will resolve this force into two components so this is one component of the force and this is an other component of the force object is moving along this line and component of force along this line is 225 cosine of 40 degrees component with angle that is cosine and opposite to the angle that one is sine so we have to take with direction of motion mean with displacement so this component is 225 cosine of 40 degrees so this component and we need to calculate work done so work done has to be f times t so component this is the component of force we have and this is equal to 225 cosine of 40 degrees multiplied by the distance travel that is 450 meters so this is how you need to figure out now if you look at given options it is given to us if you look at a this one is wrong because cosine 40 is missing and this is this is right one so the answer for this one has to be b and this is sine this is wrong tangent also wrong so the answer for this question is b so the main concept is this this is the main concept this part most of the time student they remember this part but they don't understand this part so you have to take displacement in direction of force so that's the reason we have resolved this force into two components and we have taken component of force in direction of displacement so these two they have to be in the same direction mean the force and displacement question four says a force extension graph for a spring is shown in the figure which of the following gives the work done in joules to extend the spring by 0.30 meters from its original length work done from the original length means extension is equal to zero 
so in this case simply we need to calculate area so if we draw this line here when extension is equal to 0 0.30 meters we can also find out value of the force value of force we can find from y axis so value of force and value of force is 2.5 newtons so simply we need to find out this area so work done in this case is equal to area under this graph so this area is representing work done and this area is equal to 1 by 2 I mean this is just a triangle and base of this triangle is 0 0.30 and the height of this one is 2.5 we can also say this is 0 0.5 times 0 0.30 times 2.5 so simply this area you need to calculate so the answer for this question has to be b so b is the right answer question 5 says two forces form a newton's third law pair which of the following statements is not true for newton's third law pair we need to understand few points so newton's third law pair the forces will form Newton third law pair if there are certain conditions need to be fulfilled Newton third law pair the first condition is that same magnitude so we can simply write down two forces they will form Newton third law pair if they have the same magnitude opposite directions opposite directions so they should have opposite directions and two forces they have to be of same type means two forces can be gravitational forces two forces can be pushing forces they can be pulling forces they have to be of same type so this is very important one same type if two forces they form a newton third law pair for example they can be gravitational both of them they can be gravitational or they can be normal reaction force means the pushing forces but they cannot be of different types so this is very important one and the fourth one act on different objects act on different objects not on the same object act on different objects so this is what you need to understand for newton's third law pair if these conditions are fulfilled then two forces they will form newton third law pair if you look at given options the forces act on the same object no they have to act on different objects so this statement is not true so the answer for this question is a but if you look at the second one same magnitude this is true the forces act for the same time yes of course you cannot touch without being touched for example if i touch my left hand for one second left hand will also touch my right hand for one second so you cannot touch anything without being touched so time is the same so if you want to write down here you can also say same time but this is something that is very easy to understand same time and same time so this is also true same type yes this is also true so the answer is a so this is very important to remember you cannot touch you cannot touch without being touched being touched something beautiful you cannot touch without being touched 